Let me go ahead and call the meeting to order. It is at six o'clock. I know. I thought James was coming. So have you heard from him? And AV is planning on being here. So we'll go ahead and start with the pledge and commissioner. Patton, if you do our prayer, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we come before you this evening, ask your blessings upon us as we enter into this meeting. Ask you to bless us as we discuss the affairs of our city. Give us patience, give us knowledge and wisdom to make decisions that are the best for our citizens and for all concerned. Be with us always, not just tonight, but always through life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, first item of business is the uh, approval of the regular meeting minutes. Good motion. Now, well, wait a minute. Before we do that, I want to say one Because she didn't have time to go gonna, retype it. I was going to try to add that in. Go, you go. Well, I just, because she's got, the, got it on her computer, but on this about four or fifth paragraph down where it said we had a reading, the first reading to adopt the text amendments and the zoning ordinance mm -hmm. for with respect to business districts. We did have the first reading of that. But then we also, separate action, had the first reading of that Article 11, which is the sign re uh, regulations. So I want to make sure that that's how the minutes are going to read when she gets them reprinted. Excuse me. So now. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes with the corrections that the mayor stated. Second. Okay, I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Post same motion passes. Next item is approval of the of the special called minutes, and that is where we had the second reading of the sign ordinance. So it's it's done and good. Somebody's already got signs up on Ridgecrest Drive. Do you not? Yeah, well, if they're under two, three, two square feet and they keep them back from the road, they're incidental and signs now. And Even the election signs? Anything. So then I can't do anything unless they're on the right of way. Look like they're going to be a problem. Somebody could blow us, go have an accident or run over with their lawnmowers. Uh, then you can go ahead and take them and just then call the person or something. Okay. But that's in case it looks like a good problem. An accident. Okay. Yeah, I move to approve the minutes of the special call meeting for August 29th. Second. second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next to the bills. Move to pay all bills. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. We don't have anything under old business, so under well, actually, technically we do, but that's okay. Under new business, the tax rate for 2024. I think you've all got that in front of you. We're, it's all been figured up, and, and, and I don't understand it, but the valuations of the properties in the city of Beaverdam actually dropped this year. Hmm. Uh, so our rate right now is 0.313. To bring in the same amount of money for the compensating would be 0.333. And the 4% increase is a 0.346. I believe we're going to have to look at this 333 because that's what we made our budget on, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That amount of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I would probably recommend for this year. Go with the compensating rate. Yeah, the point three three three, and mm -hmm. that puts the personal property point four seven one, which the personal property actually rate actually drops from what it was last year by half a point. Make the motion to approve. Is this the first reading? Yes. First reading of the um, 
real estate, the tax person. My goodness, the person on the real estate attached. Substitute rate. We'll take Substitute. That. We're taking the compensating rate of 3.33%. Okay. Now, if you can get that written out clearer than I said it. <laughs> I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? That was in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Next is the second reading of the Kennedy Franchise Agreement. We have it. Yeah, we had the first reading at the special call meeting. But I don't think we ever had any papers on it, did we? <laughs> well, it's where they could advertise for it. Oh, okay. Then I'll move to approve the second reading of the Kennedy Franchise Agreement. Second. We have a motion and second. Is there further discussion? Those favor saying by the aye. Uh, Opposed, same. Uh, next item is first reading of the budget amendment for 2425. Yes. <laughs> We've got three different uh, line items that we need to in. One of them was the police cruiser. So when we were passing our vehicles, we need to raise that one $45,755. We ended up getting two this year. We were supposed to get one last year, one this year. The one last year didn't come until this year. Do you need it all together? Separate. Can we can do those all together. I think we just do one so we, we for all three. Okay. Secondly, the fire truck, uh, the bids came in $26,000 higher than what we had budgeted, so we need to raise that $26,000. Okay. <laughs> Thirdly, wastewater. Somehow or another, I don't know if it was human error or our Excel spreadsheet, what we paid to Ohio County Regional Wastewater got left off of our budget. So we need to amend that by seven hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> the big human error. Yeah. Well, we if you if mistake. you go back and look at the budget, yeah, it's on. We, uh, the income side's on there. On the we're going to show. We're going to make a big pile of money. That's what I was thinking. That's going to make some difference. <laughs> yeah, it's on there that we made the made the made the budget. We'll do it anyway. I think that's all right. I'll mm -hmm. make a motion. We accept all the amendments to the budget, please. Second. We have a motion. And second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is Miss Nancy. Okay. I think if you all had looked at all the papers that I've given you before and gone over them, and I thought you probably had some questions. I have a suggestion. I wanted to change a few things, and, and the problem I'm having right now is with medical clinics. Uh, you have a, a for Excel was that right down from uh, Travis Wilson's that building back there uh, that's probably going to be used for some more doctors and that's what they were planning on doing and then you've got the couple that's here that want to build another building and they still want to build another building so those two things if you get clinics in or for health care facilities outpatient then I can do it and I need to change the terms to match that whichever phrase you want and outpatient and sanatoriums and hospitals, uh, nursing homes, all like that, and that's under conditional use. Outpatient. My opinion is still all medical needs to be under conditional use. You want all of it? Sounds logical. Well, I tried to do that. Uh, huh? <laughs> I've tried to do that. I know. Yeah. No, I know. That's this would kind of match up with what we've been kind of we've been kind of doing, but. I just feel like I have no problem with the medical facilities, and, and that's what I've told different ones that I've talked to. Our business district is a little different than normal. We don't have blocks of business. It's all usually one lot deep on 231 with residential behind it. Right. Something with the medical, I feel like, and the only reason I'd like to have the conditional use on it is where we can go in and require them. Like, okay, first of all, I'd like to have the people that's going to live behind them at least know that we're thinking about them a little bit and be able to participate in discussion on it. But to question the kind of security they have, do they have cameras, can they put up a privacy fence, stuff like that. Because if someone tries to hit into a medical facility to get a drug or something, yeah. and when they come out, they're going back. They're not going to 231, they're going to the back roads, which are going across through somebody's house, most likely. Normally I will say that I can request a fence. Because you can for a business, and no, nobody really has a problem with it. If somebody in the back complains, they put a fence up. And I also ask that they turn the interior lights 
in towards the business because I've had complaints with that before, so I just automatically ask them to do that now because I've uh, learned some things from doing it. And uh, I, businesses want to come in, they'll do it. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I talked to several of them that are involved with the health, and none of them have an issue with the conditional use because they want to be good neighbors and they want mm -hmm. everybody to be happy to begin with. And those conditions won't impede the ones that were have expressed interest. No. Yeah. Well, how specific do you want to be with that then? Of which ones? Because you have all kinds of doctors and dentists and eye doctors and stuff that go in existing buildings, and I don't have anything to do with that. Except that they want to sign, I don't even know to go there. So they don't have to go through anything. And that was part of my reason for saying you need these really units down to the letter as to what can go, you know, because. Uh, uh, like I said, they can go in there and have offices, which is what's happened lots of times. It doesn't bother me because they're going into an existing building, and I don't really work that much with that except for signs mm -hmm. as to work or what goes. A.V., what's, what's your opinion? Am, am I overthinking it? Uh, no, I don't think you're overthinking it as long as, as, long as you're consistent on um, um, what you're doing. Um, um, you're right, Beaverdam is laid out different. almost different than any other place, really. Um, and I don't know, I, I think I don't know, but I really don't. The other medical uh, facilities that come in, um, have they had to get a conditional use before? Not here, except <laughs> Like the, in Hartford, you had the hospital, and the addition there, they were in a residential ward, so they didn't think they had to do that there. Anything is residential area, and it's going to be a business, I think. But then they have to be something like a hospital, a needed care or something before they need to go Correct me if I'm wrong. I, my understanding has been that we've done some stuff, but haven't you had a member of the yeah. planning and zoning saying we've been doing it wrong? They didn't well, but they've raised the question, and that's what I'm trying to. It was a quick care up here, it was a new deal. And because it was just a health facility, it wasn't anybody like a hospital staying overnight. <coughs> that's my, what I have run across, that's the whole of it. It's a inpatient or outpatient. Uh, if it's outpatient, like I said, you just have them go right into a building that's already existing, and it's the same. Well, even if it's impatient, they can do that. So, you know, that, I just thought that wasn't fair. But, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix it. We had a member of the planning and zoning, I don't know why, all of a sudden start questioning Nancy, and it's determined they've been doing it wrong, in their opinion. What are they basing that up on? Because if you look at my, uh, correct me again if I'm wrong, on the business B3, it, it outlines stuff that, that can go in B3 and that it outlines the type of businesses that require conditional use and medical's not listed in either one of them, is it? So that's where it goes under, um, uh, you know, a lot of places in business going all the way down. It says uh, other facilities uh, that are needed to residential districts to be used. So that's where most, a lot of stuff I have to use. Right? But, the but they, they have a board member that is questioning now and really pushing the issue that they're not doing it right. So we're just trying to get, or as far as I'm concerned, trying to get our well, ordinance. Planning and zoning, planning and zoning member. member, yes. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I mean, <laughs> <coughs> we were talking about the unit that wants to come into Hartford. It was fantastic. I mean, there are 32 people. I mean, who wouldn't want that? It's a new building. And uh, he told me right off that he, he said, well, I won't go with that. He said, I, I don't believe in that, but you've got to take care of your little people here and now. So we're like, I said, well, you can have an opinion, but you can't vote on an opinion. I said, you have to remember that you're voting on what is the fact as to what can go in and what can't. So he kind of rubbed up and saying, well, I'll, you know, this, this, and this. So he just, but didn't a guy from <laughs> that came and did your training, didn't he kind of agree with him? No, when we had the because I said, everybody needs that. Right. Everybody needs that. So when I needed the update on this, because it's really behind. So uh, the gentleman that was training sat there and was stating, you know, this goes here and this goes here and stuff. And he said, and 
three times to that man that was sitting there training. He would say, so you can just change it on this because you decide to. And I thought, why are you questioning him? He's the trainer. <laughs> you know, he's the director of the facility for planning and zoning. So I wouldn't I would question him. But then and again, in a little while afterwards, he said the same thing to me. He said, he said, that's why you have changes is because you're outgrowing the upper place. So he said, so you're meaning that you can just change it to fit and get anything in you want? He said, no, I'm just saying you got to have it here or here, one place or another. And he said, you need it. You have to change, but you're not clear enough on it. That's what it was. And that's what I'm trying to do is just get it where it's more clear to suit him. Well, and keep it all. The, the, if I understand, the new the new change would put basically clinics as an approved B three. Yeah. Okay. Well, what the mayor is talking about is is if it's going to be B three, it's going to it needs to be go through a, a conditional use procedure mm -hmm. to, cons to consider a variety of things which makes sense as long as we have a board of adjustment a viable board of adjustment that can make some decision the thing she's talking about that's been going on 15 months and still there is no decision and I'm not sure when it's going to be, be a decision but but if Forget that one for a minute and just think about somebody that's going to come into Beaver Dam uh, and they've got to go through a conditional use process. What's a viable period of time before they can get an answer? And, and do we have a board, a, a conditional use board in place now? It, it is the Board of Adjustments. And we have. Uh, excuse that, me, the Board of Adjustments. I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, we have a. We had a lady that left because she's over at Hartford City Hall now. And we had the gentleman that doesn't like it <laughs> at all. Uh, and uh, then we have uh, James Crump's wife, which she she took the train and stuff. So because we're down that much and I keep trying to get some on, nobody wants to get on this board. I mean, I know you try hard. <laughs> I know you do. And I understand that's why. And I don't know why I'm still here. <laughs> so, but... Uh, in our neighborhood business district, like in R2 and R3, I try to tell everybody, you don't have anything but B3, really, that you can do anything with. So I've had to see if the lot size was big enough, if it would fit there, if there was an entrance, an exit for, you know, for businesses, because y'all want to get all you can in there. That's the way I looked at that. Um, and that's the only choice I had, because you don't have the other side. But if you look under a B2, it's, it's a... Um, it's to make uh, the districts uh, the residential district to be associated and permitting commercial activity. And when it says that and it goes over on the others, it, it, uh, it includes just that. Whatever goes that can help with the uh, just you know, being one, be two, or be three. If it's a service for the community, that's what it says. You need to take and look at what's a service for the community. So I've been able to, to do that because it does say it. So I don't know, but in but the I don't know what I would do now. Anyway, I don't know what I, which way to go with anything. I just need clearance. What's a what's outpatient? What's an inpatient? And I have pulled it up. I've got papers on it. Uh, I left those with Hartford the other day. Again, so they're having a hard problem. I know that. But I mean, what am I supposed to do about it? Clear, clear, clearly, there's going to, I mean, the mayor, what he brings up, clearly there's places in Beaver Dam where it doesn't make any sense to have uh, a medical facility. And we're talking about actually on Main Street. Oh, yeah, that's all. It's either places. not room or, or, you know, there's it, more so actually than in Hartford. But, but uh, if I understand the way we're functioning, Hartford and Beaverdale do not have to agree on this. Right. Is that fair? Exactly. 
Yeah, that's what I tell the other day, too. I mean, they, they can do their own thing, you know, and then I have to write it up that way. Um, and then whenever I make changes, you know, with, whichever you all say, I still have to change what I've given you all to match that. So, um, the put character did not have a conditional use because it was a new building and going in right there, cleaning room and all like that, wasn't a problem. This other one should go in, for, you know, in Harper should go in the same way. But, but that's not our, that's, that's not this commission's. No, but I mean, as far as me looking at it, too, right. I don't want to have to separate things out and say, oh, that's a clinic. That's not, if it's outpatient. I don't know what to do. That's what messed me up. But they're both going to be. Right. They, they are both outpatient, though, right? Clinic, they spend the night, can't they? That's what you're saying. She's one. Outpatient. Yeah. 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 Versus inpatient. Planning zoning is not created. 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 Planning zoning is not it fits in with the city, and I don't mean fit in with the type of business, but fit in with the people with and the, the operation of the city and yeah. the flow of everything. Yeah. But, but it's not intended to 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 defeat competition. No, you, you know that that's obviously not 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 to, not the reason for it. But but um, there are, by example, traffic, or there there are situations in which traffic clearly would be a significant issue, um, and. The mayor's right about things can happen in a medical clinic that are that are adverse if if you have a theft or whatever. But but um, it, it, as long as far as far as I'm concerned, where planning and zoning has had issues in the past, and it goes back issues in planning and zoning go go back as long as I've been here. Mm -hmm. It's never worked very well, and and. You know, as long as somebody wants to put in, by example, a medical clinic, and you can get the Board of Adjustment in place to consider what the issues are, make a reasonable decision, reasonable findings, that's perfectly appropriate. But if you don't have a board, mm -hmm. then it becomes more difficult because you, you've got somebody that wants to sell a piece of ground, somebody wants to buy a piece of ground, somebody wants to put a business in there. And, and uh, but it affects both communities, uh, obviously. I'm trying to get ours fixed so we don't have a problem with somebody coming in and you got a board member who's saying that's you're not doing it right. Well then what do you, if I, you know, like if you say you want it under conditional use and those persons that are just moving in the big building and setting up stuff, shouldn't they have to tell you all and do something instead of just uh, getting a business license and they can go in? Well, they're supposed to do that anyway. They do a business license but that's it. Yeah. I mean the girls have, wouldn't have any reason to not give them their business license. No. That they do business. And I don't want them to have any, to do any part of anything that they don't have to do now because that's not right for them. They're busy. So I try to do what I can. And uh, I just need something simplified. This is over anything that should have gone to, I think. But uh, if you do a conditional use on that, then you need to do it on the, anything else like that's medical that comes in. Yeah. See, anything. I mean, in the, even in buildings that are existing. Uh, you know, that's... Is medical the only thing we'd have conditional on? No, no, no. There's... But it's just not listed, is it? It'd be a dentist or anything, is what it would be. Well, well the reason it's not listed is because the merits is a uh, Well, like Rice Drugs, it has... It has, it has, it has drugs in that. It has been it was before there time. was planning and zoning. But, I mean, don't they... Wouldn't they have to follow... The, I mean, mm -hmm. they don't have a fence up, and they, they've been broken into... No, no. Them. I'm not saying anybody required, but if you have... I'm trying to think of getting along with the residents that live yeah, around. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, but they should have. They should have. But yeah, I agree with you. Again, there was a lot of things, and I'm not faulting them for it. No, at I'm all. not either. It's not. You can't help being broke into it. You, shoot, I, we were broke into several times. So, but I just I didn't I don't understand why we would try and make rules that would prevent somebody from wanting to come into our system. And I know we've got rules and regulations, but. I don't think we're going to build a hospital in Beaver Dam anyway, so anytime soon. It would be conditional. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it would be conditional. But I mean, if somebody wanted to come in, like like the the little things they built up there by the O'Reillys, is it O'Reillys? Not O'Reillys. What is it? Yeah. I mean, that would not space. cause a problem to anybody. No. But it could have been. Well, if it shouldn't have, and so I let it in, you know, because I didn't have anything said I had to do anything but let the you know let a business in. Then what's the problem doing it now? Yeah. Uh, tell me. The one what? individual that. says that it was wrong. Is it because of who's trying to put it in? Is that oh. what's the problem now? Uh, whenever Tara and I worked at this to see how to get it regulated out and stuff, she called KLC and they said, do, you can do a text amendment and, and get little things in that you want in because you have it included in your text amendment. Well, that's when we figured around to, to uh, get most things in to the B3 where it says, but it says you go to the B2, but it also says whatever similar to use for the uh, residential districts around it or other businesses. So when it says similar like that, then I've been taking it. If it's a business up and down through here, if somebody didn't want it, they tell me that it's illegal for it to go there. And I haven't had that happen. So I would have, I let that one in because I don't think there's a problem with it. <laughs> Myself, because it's a business, it's a consumer business. Well, but then we turned around, we turned around, Nancy, because you and I disagreed on that for a little bit up here by Midtown Pharmacy when that building went in there for the working on the vehicles and stuff. Y'all made them do a conditional use permit. Well, because they didn't do that for the, for the business, because they could do that for the business, you can have that retail. They did it for a variance of conditional use for the apartment underneath the back where. Yeah, but I remember they sitting. Above, but they had to go below up to the back of the steepness of that. Sitting in one of these meetings down here when all that was going on, and that was part of. They were required to do some fencing, and they couldn't have so many cars out. And yeah, because it's in town. Yeah. So what's the difference in them having to have a conditional use then? Well, I was really getting the variance for them to do that uh, apartment there because they were going to use it for security. Yeah. You know and stuff. So we can ride it up that way, and I think that that should be fine too. If somebody want, needs to put in anything that is going to help them take care of their business, I don't know why should, but you keep it out. But it does say in all these that above, correctly above the businesses, you can have a rental or the person that you know owns the building can live there. Well, that, and I didn't mean to get up on that, but no, there's been other things we've done conditional use on. It's not that we're picking on medical. That that so, but you know, like on the corner up there, if somebody came in and wanted to put a, say, a medical facility. Like a doctor's office yeah. up there on the corner, would that be considered conditional? Would I have to go through conditional something for that, or would they just be able to put it in there? Because there's no houses you, behind it. I don't know how you should have to because you've got them empty. You know, there's some yeah, but there's, office there's no office houses office. behind it anyway. It's all business behind it. I wouldn't have done a dentist that way. <laughs> but I mean, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, one, I, just, don't, I don't understand. And, and me being a property owner, I'd like to know that myself. Well, see, yours wouldn't have any problem getting it. But what if uh, I'm trying to think? up here across from the post office before you get to that intersection and somebody picked a lot right out of the middle of that and wanted to put a yeah that would you don't think the people the i thought the residential they put the post office well there. that's beside that's another story but i just think There's sometimes the residents yeah. need to have some input i don't want to keep anybody out yeah but i don't want to ignore the residents long time residents right who live here and well, i agree investment in their homes we need to make them first priority but still i just i just would be useful to, to the yeah. residences around it. You have to look into that. I do that. So, uh, and like I said, I tell them that. Put a fence or some lights inside and cut back on a wind turbine, turbine or whatever you call it. At one of the car washes was too loud for some person behind it. So they did. They changed that out and made it quieter. So, you know, you got businesses that work with it because they want to be here. But I, as far as the medical, that's a I need to straighten it out. I need to straighten it out because I've got to do something. Okay, well, we'll try to get that wrapped up for you. There's a desk. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't either. Next item is items to surplus. We have a old boring machine. It runs off hydraulics. You run it off a backhoe or excavator. It's probably 50, 60 years old. It's got very little value that we need to surplus. 
we have another department agency or a department interested in it. The city of Center Town is interested in that. Uh, I don't know how y'all want to handle that. If y'all want to sell it to them, if you'd like to. I don't know what can is there some type of. Can we donate it to them? That's what I. Can we donate can it we to donate another city? Them? What's the question? Can we donate a piece of our equipment to Center, the city of Center Town? Just donate it to them. It's outdated. It's surplus us. and we can't use it's it. Surplus, we haven't used it in years, but they're interested in it. Can we just donate it to another city? It's not, you're not selling it. Nope, just giving it to them. Um, maybe. Do we sell it to them for a dollar? Yeah, I was saying, we sell it to them for, even if it's $50, I don't care. Do just, what now? Even if we sell it to them for $50, just. Yeah, the the I think I think the answer is no. If 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 it's a it's it's a piece of equipment that obviously has got very significant value, and you the, the city the city is actually giving up something that that it's in need of or perhaps will be in need of. Well, if it is truly surplus, and and and. Um, uh, this value is marginal. I really don't think that we would have never used it. Exactly. Normal condition it's, we would jump. <laughs> it's never been used since Larry Carter worked here. Yeah. It hadn't been used since he started working. Ninety-three. <laughs> 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 then, 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 then I think you can reasonably give it away because the question becomes: Who's ever going to raise it? Yeah. How's, I mean, it, how's it ever going to be raised by anybody? Nobody's going to care. And, and, it, uh, it would probably be worth more as scrap than what it's worth, but we've got a city, small town in our county, who could use it. That and bores it, underneath the road once every five years that could use it. Yeah, and they've got a machine that can use it. Where we, we no, basically. Well, we do, we, but we're not we going to. Do we? we don't anymore. Well, I, I, I was say, I didn't think we had a machine that would use it now. You, you, you oh, probably, well. just out of an abundance of caution, you probably ought to document it that, that the. It's clearly surplus property. It has no value to the city, uh, and there's no no. It doesn't have a tremendous sale value either. Uh, but I don't. I think the biggest issue is nobody who's going to question it. There's not yeah, anybody out there that would want it. Just, if I understand what you're saying. Just for auditor reasons is the only reason I'm yeah. asking. Yeah. I. Well, I just think to give it to you. First, we'd entertain a motion to declare it surplus. Well, I declare the, what is it called, a bore? It's a surplus. It's a bore machine. It's called a push rod machine, what it's called. Uh, I make a motion we declare the push rod machine surplus. Second. We have a motion and a second. Further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Now, entertain a motion if you want to donate I'd like to, to make a motion we donate to the city of Center Town. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And I don't think it's good use of it. That's good that they can use it. Uh, mm -hmm. Secondly, we have a, it's either 2008 or 2009. I've got the VIN number and everything for it. We have a F-150 pickup truck. We bought a new truck in May. We need to surplus this one. Want to try to sell it? Are you got anybody interested? We'll put it on good deal. Okay. okay. I moved to surplus the 2009 pickup truck. And, and list on gov deals? Yeah, list on gov deals. Did you a second, yeah. We have a motion and second on that. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mike, do you have anything? Y'all know we're in the process of trying to hire a couple more. Uh, we've interviewed, uh, I think it was four or five, and we cut them down to three. We had them come and do the pops, uh, kind of the pops and his physical part. And there was two that we chose out of three. And what I'm asking is permission to. Uh, offer them employment with the stipulation that they pass the phase one and phase two part to get into the academy. Uh, we do uh, get a little ahead of ourselves. I thought y'all would probably agree with me, but uh, we got a pop test form, uh, phase one, September the 19th. 
So I'm just needing, I guess, permission to offer them employment. There are Stephen Phelps, uh, he's from Falls of Rough, and then one local boy, uh, Blake Wallace. He's from here. Uh, when I can find out, I haven't, I haven't had anybody say a bad word about any one of them. That's, that's the two that we're looking at. Stephen, Stephen Phelps. Mm -hmm. Stephen Phelps and Blake Wallace. So we, are we hiring them? Is that well, that's what I'm... Well, we need, to, I guess, what would be the right word? Upon completion of the POPs test. Yeah. They have to pass On both phase phases one, phase to be hired. To be hired. I can say that for good. I, I moved up on completion of the pop test that we offer employment to these two young men, Stephen Phelps and Blake Wallace. Second. We have a motion and a second. We need to put a dollar amount in there. Do we need to put a salary? <laughs> we finally got our two vehicles. Uh, Stephen Phelps is No, on this motion, do we need to include a salary? Uh, I think we can do that later. I think we have plenty of time to do that. Okay. Next month or so. Because we're not technically hiring. We're just all right. we're just all provided all they pass right. that, and then we have to, to have final. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I did tell them, like, make sure you keep your job. <clears throat> keep up. And so, yeah. uh, those are the other things I've got. not really just, just information. we got our two new vehicles. They're in Owensboro. Uh, they're striped. One of them is almost complete with the lighting and the radio and all that. Uh, so we should possibly get it tomorrow. So it's just a little way why about our vehicles. Is that Brad's? Is that going to be Brad's? Is that going to be Brad's? <laughs> I know he had his car cleaned out this morning. Did he wrap those things, Mike? Do you wrap those? Uh, one of them is wrapped. Another one, uh, the one I'm going to keep, is kind of like a ghost out on it. I like that. I like that idea. He's kind of in line to get one of them. So, uh, I'm telling you, he'll get one of them. And then we'll switch up on some of our other vehicles. Maybe get mine to, maybe Noah. I think Noah's driving is probably the worst car we got. So, that's kind of the plan. Okay. Yeah. Noah and Jacob still doing good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. He, he worked his first fatality last night. Oh. Now, uh, going out of town, the Hispanic executive. Okay, was he I didn't hear dead on the scene? I heard about that. Uh, was he dead on the scene? Uh, they did see power on the Okay. Did he get hit by a car or something? What? I didn't hear anything about this. Hold on. Got his head on. He was on my trailer. Where was it at? Where was it at? In front of the Keystone. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. The local fella? Yeah, he lived yeah, 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 on Second Street when he died, and the one that was driving lives in Hartford. Wow. He was coming from a house there on Main Street. Pulled out in front of somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Jill, Sandy, anything? Well, I haven't said anything for a while, but what about those buildings at Oldham Park? We talked about them today. <laughs> Uh, uh, Travis and I were down there at the park today down at Oldham and we, we talked about it and uh, we're going to either have to modernize them or tear them down. We don't have a choice. And if we modernize them, it's going to cost a fortune. We have to put new electricity, new everything in them. I it's all shot. I think we're better off tearing down. I think we're, we're better off tearing them down too. That's kind of figuring it's a winter time project. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's something to do in the winter time. We, we were actually saying that was weird paper. because me and Travis were just Can down there today. do the first hammer on it. <laughs> yeah, we'll take you down there with sledgehammer. Go right ahead. We love that. Yeah, anything else? No. And we're still, no, to, and, and just, Sandy, I'm still entertaining motions for any stuff you all want to put down there because we still have never come to a conclusion on what we'd like to put down at Oldham. And there are several things we're juggling trying to figure out what to do. So. Well, even if you want to go back to keep having what you have, the buildings need to be. Yeah, they're, they're replaced. Be torn down and replaced. The electrical boxes have been tore out of them. I mean, there's a whole bunch of damage. You get tore down, then you can pick the whole ground so and redo we'll it. We'll have to do some, when we tear that, yeah. we'll have to do some things on it, because that's our electrical. power source for right. pickleball and the wellhouse. Well, you can redo it any way you want to when those are down. Fix mm -hmm. it. Charles, my brain won't work that way tonight. I'm tired. <laughs> Kevin? I do. 
I want to make, make, oh, you'll love this one. I tried so many years to get this guy out of here, but I would like to make a motion to hire Larry Carter as a part-time employee for about 16 hours a week as a water distribution operator. Uh, he's going to do on weekends, holidays, stuff like that, and he will be available to start immediately, and he's already a certified ground water treatment. He's got his license in that, distribution, wastewater collection operator, and, oh, he doesn't? Why do I think we've done this already? He will be available to start immediately upon approval. approval. Oh, following confirmation. That's true. This. Following confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and he, but but and uh, his pay will be uh, a dollar an hour. Yeah, I wish it was a dollar an hour, but uh, a thirty-five an hour, which is what he was making when he left here. But since he works weekends and holidays, it's kind of a because we have to pay our other. Well, and there's no benefits, no, no benefits, no, no retirement, nothing. and he's got the yeah. It costs certification. Is it up to sixteen hours? Up to sixteen, up to 16, up to 16 hours. Up to sixteen hours. Eight hours most weeks. That gives us a certified operator for groundwater, wastewater collection, water distribution, twenty four seven. Well, I'll second that to Harim. We have a motion and second. Further discussion. Those in favor, saying for that. Post second, I post saying <laughs> motion passes. We're talking about second. Okay, do you have anything else? Good? No, that's it. Travis. Yes, uh, I've got some bids here. On the last page, I took a picture to show you what we were looking at doing uh, at the old wastewater plant. We call it the big warehouse. We wanted to put some garage doors in there, so there's two quotes here. And on the second quote, I did a project total cost. Is to put two more garage doors into the uh, big warehouse. Is what we call it. There's three bays. Two doors, three bays? There's three bays total. One's already got a door. Okay. See where he's talking about putting the doors. Perhaps what'd you do with what was in there? We hauled off 15 loads of scrap. Don't try to load of scrap. I can't uh, believe that place looks like it does. I, it, it amazed me when I went down there and looked at that. We're proud of it. We've uh, you should done be. a lot of work. Uh, it's a really nice building. We can park a lot of valuable equipment inside once we get this done, hopefully. Now these are, are these are two different bids? Two different straps? sizes. Two different size doors. And if you look over to the left, Kevin, I put a project, estimated project cost. You see that? Yeah. But you want the 16 doors, don't you? I would rather have bigger doors. I'd rather have bigger doors. Yeah, I, got I, just, I, just, yeah tough I agree. I just gave you the low, lowest to the highest. I gave you the range. Yeah, I agree. Uh, later on, we might look for concrete out front. I didn't put none of that in there for now. It'll need to be gravel for a while. Yeah. It needs to, needs to settle. Well, I'll make a motion we do the 16 by 10 doors and do the repair work to our facility down there at the wastewater plant. I guess that's what it's called. David Schroeder's. Except David Schroeder's bid, yes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay. Now we need it. Okay. I've got one more. Well, don't we need to accept? Is David Schroeder doing the overhead door from overhead doors, or we have to no, accept two different bids? Oh, okay. I thought Kevin did the 16th. No, we just did, did all the on what we did. Oh, you did them all together? I did, all, I did the doors and the, I didn't accept the 16 by 10 doors. Add that from all together. I did all together, together didn't I? Yeah. You said Schroeder. Well, I did, then I accepted the Schroeder, bid by Schroeder, yeah. Well, I did it all together. I may not have done that. All right, we're good. Okay, Travis, sorry. Uh, secondly, I talked to Mike Allen. I would like, if the commission's okay, to cancel his city cell phone and provide him with a phone stipend. Forty dollars a month. At that, at the rate of what we're paying for his phone, 
we will be $180 more a year if we will give Mike Allen and Lieutenant Tommy Phelps $40 a month home stock. Basically, we're getting two for the price of one, plus a little bit. Is that okay with you, Mike? <laughs> he has two phones <coughs> now, don't you? you? Have one phone. Yeah, he does. Well, this one, if somebody sent me a picture, it's not that big. Well, well, is that your city phone? Right? Yeah. And I talked to Mike. He said that he. You have a flip phone yeah. for a city, city phone? I told Larry that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sells a, that sells a yeah, lot. Yeah, you know why we need to get him a new phone. That sells a lot. Well, I mean, I use mine all the time, and that's just good. I don't mind that at all. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I use it every day, all day long, or, or one day a week. Well, that's what it's paying from, too. He said he actually got it. He said he got it for $40 a month. Yeah. Well, that's what he got it for. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get the other one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get the other one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get the other one. I've got the one that says this is the number to text to. I said, call or text on my other phone. I call my phone because you can't do anything on this phone. This is, I do this at work where I work. I get a stipend for my cell phone so I don't have to carry two phones. And I get a phone stipend. Yeah. I move to give uh, Mike Allen and Tommy Phelps phone stipends. Second. For the use of their personal phones. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor of seeing five, aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Okay. Yeah. You entertain a motion to cancel. Uh, motion two cancel. city phones. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Now I'd like to entertain a motion to go into closed session and discuss. Move to go into closed session. Second. I do have one thing. I've got some technical issues. I'm going to go back to the open session. Hey. Can I have already did before you got it? We, we didn't have a quorum vote. As long as you second. do it, I don't care. So I'll sec I seconded it, so whoever made the motion, I second it. This is kayaking. It is very casual. Oh, yeah. Are you going to that? Yeah. Are you going to that? No, because it's Wednesday. Yeah. But when you hadn't thought I'd be, didn't think I'd be here until about 20 months. I thought I'd turn around and be gone another day. Okay, I think we had the motion and second to go back into open session. Uh, those in favor say aye. Uh, and uh, we did discuss property acquisition, the property, the Bruce School Road property. And I think we've got two of them done now and one more to finish up. So we're good to go. I have nothing else. I'll move to adjourn it. Okay. Thank you all very much. There's a special problem meeting you to have it before KLC.